Hi, I am Dr. Machu. Welcome to my class. Today we can see research topic selection. So let's see research topic selection. We know that research to uh, topic selection in research is a first step in the in any research. That's why it has a much important in research. And development of a, a good research topic is a, an essential skill. Okay, and selecting a good research topic is not an easy a process. And if you are doing the research, there are two uh, possibilities is will be the uh, for choosing a research topic. First one, an instruct instructor will give a suggest you a research topic or otherwise you can choose a research topic and but most often these uh, instructors require to uh, select you a topic okay that means there is be two chance for cho choosing a research topic first one is and your guide or supervisor will give a research topic for you to for the research and otherwise you can select your own topic for the research and most of the uh, supervisors or guide the, they will prefer to uh, they will prefer your your own topic for the research otherwise if you are not selecting uh, you have you don't have any idea about uh, you don't have any suggestion on such topic that time only they will give the error such topic okay and if you if you choose a topic freely there will be much room for creativity and uh, personal contribution okay if you are choosing error such topic then there will be some advantages okay if you are choosing error such topic for you uh, for your research or your PhD or any research program or any research uh, process uh, better you select your own topic okay then you will get much more free and creativity and uh, you will get more free freedom otherwise if you are taking the topic or uh, that is suggested by the your guide then you don't you, you won't get much freedom in research and that's why always pick a research topic that you are, you are interested okay because uh, throughout the research time you are going to live with this topic for entire period of your research so if you are taking a research pro uh, process then you must take or you like you must take a research program that is based on your interest because you are going to live with that research topic for a period like that may be weeks or months or years so research topic in research topic there will be is a selection of research topic is the first step in the res any research and it has a and and it has a much important in any research and development developing a good research is an essential skill okay because it is an essential skill because it is a first step in any research and Selecting a good research topic is not an easy process and if you are doing research there will be two chance to select a research topic first one is your guide will give you a or your uh, principal investigator or your uh, supervisor give, will give a topic otherwise you have to select a topic most of the guide prefer to take your own topic for the research okay if you are taking your own topic for research then you will get more room for creativity and you will get more freedom to do the research and you can make some personal contribution in this your if you are taking your topic for select uh, for this research and uh, if you are going for a research you take your own topic for the research because because you are going to live with that topic for the entire period of your research that may be weeks or months or years if you are taking a research top research topic that
that time there is a, uh, some very essential question is the that you can ask yourself okay that you can ask yourself regarding your uh, research topic okay first one is does this uh, does the topic elicit the interest and curiosity in you okay does the topic elicit interest and curiosity in you okay then only you take the topic okay the second question is that is the topic is worthwhile okay if the is this topic is worthwhile then only you take this a uh, topic and the third one is this topic is doable okay if it is doable only you take the topic you have to consider this question when you are uh, taking a uh, when you are selecting a research topic the first one question is the does the topic is uh, elicit interest and curiosity in you okay your research topic will be, uh, should be elicit interest and curiosity in you and your select uh, your selected uh, research topic uh, to, uh, short, uh, research topic should be worthwhile and that topic should be doable okay these are the essential question that you ask yourself when you are taking a research topic and when you are taking or uh, selecting a research topic these steps will guide you through the process of research topic selection and the first step is the brainstorm for ideas and the second one is the read general background information about your research topic uh, or research interest and third one is the focus on your your topic and fourth one is make a list of useful keywords and the fifth step is that you should be flexible in your research topic and define a uh, sixth one is define your topic as a focused research question and the seventh step is the research and read more about your topic and the eighth one is a format a thesis statement these are the steps that will guide you through the process of selecting a research topic first one is a brainstorm for ideas and second one is read general background information and third one is a focus on your topic and fourth one is a make a list of useful keywords and the fifth one is be flexible and the sixth one is define your topic as a focus research question and sixth one is research and read more about your topic and eighth one is the last one is a formulate thesis statement these are the steps that will guide you through the process of selecting a research topic and we can see each of these steps separately the first step is brainstorm for ideas brainstorming is a technique that will helps you to generate ideas and to generate ideas you ask yourself the following questions which will helps to generate ideas on top uh, topic ideas the first one question is do you have a strong opinion on current social or political controversy okay do you have a strong opinion on current or social social or political controversy okay this question will help you to generate an idea okay and another one question is do you do you read or see a news story recently that has interested you okay do you read or see a new story recently that has interested you okay that new story that you are interested that will give a an idea for research topic okay another one question is do you have a personal personal issue problem or interest that you would like to know more about okay do you have any issues or problems or interest that you face or you have seen from the uh, nature okay do you want to know more about it then that will give an idea of research topic okay this is the first step uh, brainstorm for ideas brainstorming is a technique that will helps you to generate ideas or 
generate ideas ask yourself the following questions to generate idea on topic one is uh, uh, you ask do you have strong opinion on co uh, current social or political controversy okay do you have a uh, strong opinion on current social or political controversy or uh, that question will help you to generate idea on uh, or, or your research topic and do you have a, uh, another one is that you have a uh, do you read or see a new story recently that has interested you okay do you uh, find any uh, new story or do you read a story or find anything that has made interested you okay you can that a story will give some idea for the topic and another one question is do you have a personal issue or problem or interest that you would like to know more about we already told that uh, we have faced some problems or issues or we have seen uh, sometimes we we'll feel some interest on specific things we have seen in the nature so that time we will want to know more about that that time that's interest or problem or issue that will give some idea uh, to generate topic okay this is the first step brainstorm for ideas and the second step is read general background information okay second step is a read general background information if you have some idea uh, or uh, on two or three topics so you have to read some general encyclopedia article to know more about to know this basic about or summary about this your selected or selected uh, ideas okay you have to see the uh, read the encyclopedias to know the selected ideas okay read a general encyclopedia article on the two uh, the on the top two or three topic you are considering okay okay this and so you read encyclopedia and reading a broad summary enables you to get a an overview of the topic and see how idea related to broader narrow and later issues okay then you reading this uh, encyclopedia general encyclopedia will give how your idea is related to broader narrow uh, and uh, and related issues okay another one is the use periodicals journals or newspaper or newspaper articles on your topic to read uh, to get general background information or the topics that you are considering for such okay you may consider one or two or three topics for uh, to do for the research topic so read general make general background information on your selected topic selected ideas and you can also use web search engines for this uh, to get general background information okay this is a second step general background information okay with first step we told about that uh brainstorm for ideas and second one we have to generate general background information on interested some in the, some interested topics and after that the step third step is the focus on your topic okay you have to focus on your research topic on research ideas okay keep that research topic is manageable okay keep that research topic is manageable first a topic is very uh, is very difficult to research if it is too broad or narrow okay if this uh, topic is uh, topic field is very large or broad is make difficulty to the research and if it is narrow it also make problem to do the research we can use some common ways to limit a topic or we can use some phrase common way to limit this topics are one by one is by geographical area we can make our topic manageable okay sometimes we if you are studying any health issues like that in the, at that time we can make this by uh, manageable by studying geog by geographical area okay by geographical area we can manage that uh, make it the topic by manageable like you can study the health issues of the population of south india okay 
health issues of site and there they like that geographical area uh, there's health related issues of uh, humans of south india you can study okay if you are taking the health related issues of uh, whole india that will be big okay if you are taking uh, health issues of uh, any cause a local area that will uh, be too narrow though so is too difficult to make interpretation and conclusion that's why you can take a geograph consider a geographical area okay uh, and we can make manage it by time frame okay if you are studying anything about uh, is uh, from thousands years from thousands years back that will make problem to you so that time we can use uh, after independence or uh, after independence of uh, our country like that we can make the time frame and disciplines discipline means if you are studying anything in a all population that will make sometime make complications or difficulty that time we can take some discipline we can make research in some business groups and another one uh, way to manage our research topic is a uh, such topic is uh, we can study the in population group like we can make some age groups some senior citizen or uh, age group within uh, zero to uh, one year age and uh, uh, zero to one and one to ten or uh, ten to twenty twenty to forty like that we can make a uh, population group and for example there is senior citizen group we can take like like that we can manage our this topic and then will make focus on your topic this is a third step and the fourth step is make a list of useful keywords okay you have to make a uh, list of keywords and you have to make a track uh, track of uh, useful keywords that will best describe your topic okay you have to make a list of keywords or you have to make a track of keywords that will describe your topic and you can look them for uh, this keyword and when you are reading encyclopedia articles and the background and general information okay you can find this uh, keywords when while you are reading encyclopedia uh, articles and the backgrounds and general information okay you find this uh, gen uh, this key uh, find this keywords from here and you have to make not this uh, keywords and you can use this keywords while you are searching in databases and catalogs that means you have to make a list of useful keywords and that will describe your topic okay you can follow for them for this uh, useful keyword from the uh, when while you are you are reading general encyclopedia and background and general information you will get this uh, useful keywords and you make uh, you make note of these words and you can use these keywords while you are searching in databases and catalogs these are use of these keywords and the fifth step is uh, be flexible okay while you are doing research sometime you may need to change your research topic Okay, sometimes you may need to change research topic, and thus uh, changing research topic is more uh, is common in doing research. Okay, sometimes you may find uh, too much, and that time you may need to narrow your focus, and sometimes you may find too little. That time you have have to broaden your research focus, and at the timing of uh, research, uh, studying of research. You may not wish to change your topic, okay? You may not wish you to change your topic, and sometimes when you are doing research, you may find that some other aspects of your research topic or research focus is more interesting and is more manageable. That in you can add that also into your research focus. For that, you have to or. Uh, Uh, you have to be flexible when you are taking a research topic okay this is a fifth step be flexible okay that means uh, is a changing research topic is uh, common in while you are uh, doing research 
and it's because of uh, sometime you may find too much that time you have to uh, narrow your focus and sometime you may find the tip that time you have to uh, broaden your uh, focus and for that you need to be flexible in while you are taking research topic and you are deciding research topic and when you are at the time of such uh, research when you are starting the research you do, you may not wish to change your research topic but you, when you are doing research you may find that some other aspects of your research topic is more interesting or manageable that time if you want that uh, other uh, aspects into your research topic for that your research topics should be flexible okay this is the fifth part fifth step And the sixth step is define your topic as a focused research question. Okay, making your topic as a focused research question will helps to focus and narrow a topic. Okay, this helps to uh, focus and narrow a topic. And use this uh, this the following steps to from to go from an idea to a focused research question. Okay, you can take this step to form a a uh, focus research question from an idea okay usually we will start a research from an idea or a word okay we will start a research or this uh, making research topics from an idea or a word and using this idea or word we will gather its, its background information we will rather gather the background information and after that background information we will develop a more, more specific interest in specific aspects of this idea or word okay we after that we will develop a more specific interest on in an aspect of uh, something related to that word or idea and after that then you will begin to have some question about the idea okay after that we will uh, uh, begin to have some question about that idea and this question can then become a focused research topic okay after that this uh, question will be formed as a focused research topic. For example, we have ideas like nutrition, uh, children, health, education, and health risk. These are the some ideas we have. Okay, from this we'll uh, we'll read some backgrounds or like that backgrounds and literature. We'll read some uh, and we gather information. And from other from that we'll get some specific experts. Okay, we'll. Uh, Concentrate on with the from specific aspects, specific interest of this idea uh, using these ideas and words, and we'll form a research question. Okay, we'll form a research question that is, how does, for example, how does nutrition, education help children? This is the research question. Okay, from this idea like nutrition, children, health, education, health, education, health risk. These are the ideas, and from that we'll form a specific this is uh, this uh, will uh, uh, form a research question that is how does nutrition uh, ed nutrition education help children this is the research question then from this research question will form a focus research question okay that focus research question will be narrow and that should be for highly focused okay what this example of this focus research question is what are the major health risks related to that for school aged children okay this is maybe this uh this become the more focused research question this is the example of this is the example of uh, from idea to a focus research question okay this is a sixth step define your topic as a focused research question okay you have to define your topic as a focus research question uh it helps to focus and narrow a topic okay uh, it's making this focus this question will make topic as a focus and narrow and you can use uh, some steps to go from idea to a focus research question okay you can use these steps to go from idea to the focus research question okay first you will begin with an idea or word okay first you will start with a begin or idea or word from that using that will uh, gather in background information of this uh, idea or word. We'll gather 
background information of this uh, idea or word and we'll develop more specific interest in an aspects of related to that word okay we'll go more specifically and we'll develop more specific interest aspects on related to our idea or word okay after that we'll begin to have some question about the idea we'll start to make some question about the idea and after that we'll make this question become the focused research topic okay this is the steps involved in and for example an example of this idea to uh, focus question is a is for example we taken ideas as nutrition children health education and health risk is the ideas and using this nutrition children health education and health risk we will uh, search for background information okay we will search for background information from that we will get some specific express and will form a research question okay that's the research question how does nutrition nutrition education help children that's a research question and from that we will again go for the focus research question that focus research question will be highly narrowed and focused okay and that research question will be converted into focus research question as what are the major health risks related to diet for the school age children this is the example of idea to a focused research question remember that focused research making a research topic as focused research question that will make research topic as more focused and make more narrow okay this are the these are six step define your topic as focused research question and the seventh step is research and read more about your topic okay research and read more about your about your topic okay then we have developed some keywords okay we have developed some keywords in a step i use that keywords to search catalogs articles databases internal search engines to get more information about our research topic okay and you will need to some research and reading before you select your final topic you have to do some research and reading before you select your final topic okay this is a sound step research and read more about your topic okay we have already selected some keywords using that keywords you read and you search in internet catalogs articles databases internet search engine to get more information about it and read more about it and before uh, you have to select your final topic you have to do some research and you have to read some more to finalize your research topic okay this is the seventh step research and read more about your research topic uh, find more information to help your answer your research question okay finding more information to help you you or answer your research question okay that's why you have to research and you have to read more about your research topic this is the seventh step this is the eighth step or the final step formulate a thesis statement okay write uh, formulate a, a thesis statement okay okay write your topic as a thesis statement and this may be or this uh, research uh, thesis statement may be the answer to your research question or a way to clearly state the purpose of your research and this research statement may be answer to your research question or a way to clearly state the purpose of your research and your thesis statement will be usually be one or two sentences that states precisely what is to be answered or proven or what you will inform your audience about your topic okay okay uh, you have to formulate the thesis uh, uh, formulate a thesis statement okay write your topic as a thesis statement and this statement may 
be the answer to your research question or where to clearly state the purpose of your research and this statement will be one or two sentences that state precisely what to be answered proven or what you will inform your audience about your topic this is the final step okay make your topic as a, a thesis statement and this th thesis statement will answer your research question and state the purpose of your research this is the final step so we discussed about the research uh, topic selection research topic selection is important in the research and uh, there are uh, two way to uh, to find the research topic in during research sometimes the instructor will give or uh, guide will give research topic and other ways uh, candidates can find you can find research topic and if you are doing uh, research uh, you can ask some question to yourself if you are interested if you are interested or curious curious in this topic or this topic is worthwhile or is or is uh, topic is doable then only you do this research work and uh, there are some other some uh, step that will help you to form selecting a research topic there is a first one is a brainstorming for ideas and second one is you have to read general background information about your topic and third one is you have to focus on your topic and make list of useful keywords and you should be flexible in research topics and define your research topic as a focus research question and you have to research and read more about your topic and the final one is a you have to formulate a thesis statement Okay, you have to format a thesis statement of your uh, thesis topic. You have to make your thesis topic as a uh, thesis statement. These are these are about the uh, research topic selection. Okay, I hope you understood this class. Thank you. Thank you for listening.